Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Mr. Robot. Last time on Mr. Robot, we had the biggest gut punch, I think, so far. <laughs> just just in terms of me being like, yeah, Elliot's doing it. He's doing all the things. He's really fighting back against all these things that are piling up on top of him. So many things. I keep saying the word things, but never mind. Everything blew up. Everything. So many people are probably dead, injured. He's going to be blaming himself for it and uh, <laughs> seriously though last week's episode had so many just revelations well both the previous two episodes like elliot learned a lot about what's going on behind his back he obviously dealing with a mass attack right now it's gonna change how things go from this point onwards i'm going to assume um like price is gonna have to deal with all this uh seemingly the dark army have achieved a major goal for themselves uh, so yeah, it's going to be an uphill battle and obviously we've got the Angela situation going on. How is she going to deal with all this now that she's seen what she's been a part of? Uh, Darlene and the FBI. It's a lot. There's a lot happening, man. <laughs> There's a lot. And just like I say, the emotional gut punch after last week. So I like, I have no idea where we're going from here, how we can possibly turn this situation into anything positive. <laughs> it just feels like we're just going further. And further down a dark hole <laughs> i don't see how we get out of it i really don't <laughs> but i'm here for it i'm here to see the next part of the journey but before we jump in please remember to hit the thumbs up if you enjoy the reaction and the review of the episode that happens afterwards also subscribe so you don't miss any future videos lets me know you want to keep seeing this stuff all of that jam there are links down below to all the other things i do there's a discord server there's twitch there's tiktok all of that fun stuff so make sure you're hitting that stuff up if you're interested and as always leave a comment let me know what you think about this episode uh obviously no spoilers for future episodes but i'd love to hear what you think about every episode that i go through as well let's see what drama there is to unfold this week on mr rope I literally looked away for two seconds and there's a dead man on the floor. What? I was just setting things up and this is where we're beginning? Excuse me! <laughs> I know it may seem petty and light of today, but I just can't stop thinking about it. Oh! Here they are! Here they are! Fraser. Man, are we here for a Leon episode? I'm here for Leon episode. Am I really supposed to believe? A bald and white dude from Seattle gets to smash that much? So like <laughs> He's he still talking about these sitcoms. This nigga get more than <laughs> Turn me off the Meanwhile, our friends look like they're about to shit themselves. <laughs> you want to see a believable protagonist doing extraordinary shit? Don't sleep on Night Rider, y'all. <laughs> Haven't enough people died already today? My man. But you'd be dead already. Surely you'd be dead already if he wanted to kill you. If I was here to take you out, would have done it already. Mm -hmm. But Michael Knight and Kit, their relationship predicted the current societal dependence on technology, and that was 30 years ago. <laughs> Fucking Knight Rider, man. Don't sleep on it, I guess. <laughs> Don't be sleeping on it. Knight Rider reactions? Could you imagine? Nothing else. Knight Rider should have won a fucking statue for his dope ass theme song. I mean, this shit oh, we're gonna hear it. We're gonna hear it. Play that theme song. Play it. Don't you deny me this. Yes, there we go. <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> it's a fucking good theme song, though. You cannot deny it. It's a fucking good theme song. <laughs> Uh, I'm happy to see them. I mean, it looks like they're in a pretty shitty situation, but I'm so happy we're finally getting to see them again. Yeah, don't look suspicious. Don't look suspicious, Elliot. <laughs> I don't know if I can say it. Wait, I'm sorry, Krista. What we both may have done, I don't know if I can say it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know if I can say it. I don't know if I can say it. This show does such a good job at putting you in Elliot's headspace. 
visually. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. Nice to see you again, beautiful. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Hello, Mr. Reed. It's not me he has to worry about. It's the others, the real string pullers. I'm not the only one under their thumb. They're manipulating everything. We got halfway there until someone swiped my ideas and warped them to suit whatever bullshit agenda served their self-interest. So you are a supporter of Five Nine? <laughs> supporter? <laughs> yeah, I've got to be honest with you, Mr. Robot. This sounds like delusions of grandeur. They claim to have the man responsible. Well, it was working for me. But you and the rest of the world are never going to know that because you keep happily lapping up those sugar-coated pearls of semen they keep pouring down your throat. Uh, uh, why? Pushing for months. <laughs> why put it like that? Elliot worked at All Safe, Ground Zero for Five Nine. He's also arrested for hacking, and he's completely out of his mind. You add all that up. Poor Krista. Poor Krista, just mixed up in the middle of all of this. It's not like, what do I do? How do I help? What do I believe? She's just, she just like me. She's just like me. <laughs> this is unreal. The country's under attack and you're protecting him? Wellick was targeted because of his access and credentials at E Corp. For five straight months, my client was held captive in a basement. You can't expect us to buy this. We have confirmation. Well, it gave an unauthorized order to put server CS30 back on the network. I don't know. This fucking guy on the FBI, I don't know. <laughs> is he trying to get Wellick arrested and whatever? Or is he trying to save his skin? I don't know. Mm. Mm. Or is he just keeping up appearances, I guess, maybe? But here's what you do have. You have a guy that'll point you to the terrorists who held him hostage. Mr. Wellick can ID them and tell you their likely location in exchange for protection and immunity. Is that part of the plan? I feel like Tyrell did not follow the instructions. I, my gut feeling is he didn't do what the bit of paper told him to do. Maybe. Dom sees what's up. Dom is seeing right through all of this as expected. Time is not our friend here. If Tyrell can get us two workable- We're being played! You keep ignoring our credible sources. The most credible one being in that room. You want to cover this up to the FBI director and the president of the United States? Spare me the conspiracy theory. It's a win-win for us either way. Why are you fighting with me on this? Because something's not adding up. Because Dom's actually doing her job. <laughs> Dom's actually doing her job is why. Fuck's sake. You report to me. Start remembering that. Oh my god, Dom. Dom, go off the books. Go, go full vigilante. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> or at least do something about this dude. Get him out of here. Remove him. Right now, the estimate's around 3,000. The dad? Yep, you played your part in that, Angela. How you feeling, bud? How you be feeling about that? They're gonna be okay, right? What? Who's that? What? All those people who died? Angela! Stop talking like this! <laughs> I don't know what's going on. She's lost it. She's lost the plot. Need your eyes on that book. You shouldn't have told anyone, Mom. I could get in trouble for telling you. But you can't be afraid to leave the house. You still have two treatments left. Even though he's being a shithead, he's clearly got something going on that is being held over his head and being manipulated in some way but he's also partially responsible for <laughs> a bunch of people dying so well look id the two suspects who who did he do who did he id oh, it's gonna be fucking is it gonna be the fucking two oh it's gonna be mowgli and that's what's gonna happen isn't it that's why they're being kept alive so they've got cool guys it's all coming together <laughs> it's all coming together <laughs> Maybe that was the instruction the whole time. Maybe it was. I don't fucking know anymore. This show messes with my brain, man. <laughs> There's some information that's about to be declassified for public release. I wanted to personally come here and deliver it to you. Such a nice guy. So nice. Yes, I've been told that if I cooperate... Your wife's dead. Be Almost two weeks now. Just rip that band-aid off. Jeez. No, you must be mistaken. Lovers quarrel with a dude she was banging. He does not give a shit. You're lying. 
He's just like, yeah, your wife's dead, pal. Live with it. Is currently being raised at Peaceful Acres Foster Care. You're going to tell him where... Okay, that might have been a mistake. You're just going to tell him where the kid is? If you're thinking about telling anyone here about me, if you veer from the plan at all... Okay, this is part of the plan. Okay. Confirmation. This is part of the plan. Go I'll make it my personal mission to ensure he becomes a statistic. Just another forgotten child lost to the system. You may not have wanted to do that because as unhinged as Tyrell is, I'm fairly sure he's smarter than you are. <laughs> How can I feel so conflicted over Tyrell? He's not a good person. <laughs> and yet shit keeps happening to him when I'm like, oh no, Tyrell. <laughs> oh no. But this, this only bodes bad. This only bodes bad. He's gonna... He's gonna do something. <laughs> and it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. So yeah, my current theory is that he identified Mowgli and I keep forgetting her name and I feel real rotten for it, but that's why they're being kept alive. That's my, that's my theory. Maybe he's not gonna kill us, but someone sure is. If anything does happen to us, if I don't make it back to my computer, I sent the email to go out automatically to someone I trust. Okay, that's something. I'm like hot my Christian Bale levels of intensity and hysteria here, so please don't talk to me about sucking out. She did it. She done it. She fucking done did it. There you go. Kind of stupid to have a number lock right where they could get to it. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a bunch of combinations, but still. I don't know how to drive. You have a genius level IQ and you can't work an automatic transmission? It's easy. All you have to do is press the button, go forward. That's it. That's all you got to do. Oh wait, he doesn't look worried. Man does not look concerned, probably because she doesn't know where she's going. Oh my god. <laughs> How? How? It's... <laughs> That's not even gears. That's just steering. That's no way to treat a caddy. Oh no. No matter what happens now, everything will be fine. Uh-huh. Um, I'm concerned. <laughs> My concern for you continues to grow. Watch. See? They all came back. They're all fine. She's rewinding? Oh my god, I swear to god. She's like, oh, is there, are we going to time travel? <laughs> is there going to be time travel? <laughs> I'm so prepared for something bonkers to happen at some point. I don't know why. <laughs> Look, they came back. Time travel. They're all back. Or is this just her dealing with it? Is this just her way of trying to deal with it? And she believes in this now. Part of me is like, she's crazy. She's lost it. Other part of me is like, there's something weird and sketchy going on and... For all I know, it is time travel. <laughs> For all I know. Oh, it's fucking show, dude. It's fucking show. Stage two was my operation. You assholes went wrong. Maybe not the smartest idea to come running in here. E Corp is the very definition of too big to fail. Trust me, it will survive. But I won't. Yeah, he's trying to get rid of you. When you surprised me with 5-9, I understood your move. Temporary global crisis to help me pressure the administration into giving you your damn Congo. All went according to plan. Why come after me? I love how the rest of the room's just gone silent. Your pet project. Angela Moss was allowed to continue with her lawsuit. Your job was simple. Manipulate her. Control couldn't so i had to i installed you as ceo only to protect my plant literally will burn everything down to do that <laughs> what in god's name do you hope to gain the opportunity to teach a lesson slapping that wrist slapping that wrist you had to destroy so much why 
because, Philip, I had to ask you twice. Yep, that was it. It was just a big dick play, a big flex. <laughs> That's all it was. That's all it was. Told you. I told you. It was just him being petty. Like, you got to fucking know your place, dude. <laughs> I want to know who made that call. Was it Tyrell? What about this other attack? That was never a part of my plan. Kid, okay, that's been your mistake the entire time. Thinking this whole thing's about your silly little plan. Yeah, you've and clearly sure. been manipulated and... It's only allowed to happen because it was bought and paid for by people like them. Yeah, exactly. The people you thought you were taking out were the ones organizing it the whole time. No matter how hard you try, It's always the end result. Pretty depressing. <laughs> Pretty depressing. Literally nothing can stop these shindigs. Not thousands dead across the country. Not a lifeless mistress in a guest bathroom. Pretty hopeless, huh? It all feels pretty hopeless. This show is so <laughs> depressing <laughs> at times. Well, what happens now to us? Well, that would be up to him. Oh, there it is. I fucking knew it. I see him. I see him on that TV. Yep. How the team approaching the door? Taking position. Stay alive for breach. Are they still here? Oh, it's a different time of day. It's a completely different time of day. It's light outside. Yeah, they're like... They're trying to make me think that the FBI are about to fucking bust in here, but there's definitely light outside. They're playing another attack. Probably like today, except... It's time to crash planes. But the exploit's already written. What do you need us for? In the Dark Army, we understand... Yeah, they would have heard it. They would have... Look, it's completely... Okay. I see what's happening here. <laughs> We are all soldiers of something much larger. No act is more honorable than suicide. There is no greater gift one can offer the cause. Maybe you can use us. Um, guys, this is your use. I don't want to break it to you this way, but this is what your use is. <laughs> No. Oh. They're both dead. They're both dead. Ah, oh, I knew there was a time jump happening. I knew it. I... Oh, that fucking sucks, dude. I did not want them to die. God damn it. It all came together. Maybe a little bit too conveniently for Dom's point of view. Look at that. Who would just hang the mask there? Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Dom's going to be like, um, I don't think so. I know we would have preferred to have gotten them alive, but at least we prevented another attack. She's like, don't you fucking touch me. <laughs> she knows. She fucking knows, dude. But maybe keep it to yourself, Dom, because you do not want the target on your back. I'm upset. I'm upset about this. It's definitely what's going to happen. Like, I could see the writing on the wall, but that's where this was going. <laughs> I really didn't want it. I thought there was going to be another twist within the twist. But no. There you go, Dom. There you go. Maybe don't put that there where people can see it. Like, you're going to have to go solo on this, I'm afraid. You're actually going to get away with this. Yep. It's looking that way, huh? It's looking that way. Pretty sucky. I believe in Dom. I believe in Dom. <laughs> if nothing else, I believe in Dom. God damn it, you fucking TV show ending. Ending! <laughs> fuck. What a mindfuck. It continues to be. Okay. An episode, as kind of expected, was dealing with the fallout of what had just happened. Also throwing up some questions in the air. Uh, also resolving some things. Let's putting a pin in it and saying, well, that is definitely what the situation was, which I appreciate. And of course, just a lovely little sprinkling of more death, more drama more depression <laughs> we love it we love that out here i think going into this episode my mind was just racking with like 
did Tyro actually follow the plan or not? Because I'm kind of in doubt and whatnot about that. Is Angela crazy or has she been shown told something that is more crazy than her crazy? I don't I don't know. Like I'm still like I don't know where the show's going. There could be this bigger picture thing. We know there's something secret going on with White Rose's plant that they're trying to protect with everything that they've got. So there's got to be something with that. <laughs> that has to be a thing and Angela's clearly been manipulated in some way to believe certain things whether they're truthful or half truths I, I mean at the end of the day she's been a pawn in this game uh to protect certain things and to move certain things along so they'll just tell her what she wants to hear i guess and it's just there to throw curveballs at me the audience into what to expect i guess i don't know boy a lot happened but it was a more relaxed pace but i guess considering the previous two episodes anything would feel, would feel more relaxed i guess but still it was very tense very tense let's go let's go for it leon back on back on track with his talk about tv knight rider good man leon i mean i really like leon i like watching leon he's just very interesting character to have on screen at any given moment but also terrifying and full of menace and yeah i the actor does a really good job because it's a it's a tight road to walk when you're trying to be menace, menacing and like a threat but you're given this dialogue which seems so throwaway and like jokey and yet you're still carrying the fact that i will kill you if you do or say the wrong thing we can we can make that work if we have to and it's an incredible job but i like i like seeing him on screen I, again i hope we get more of leon because he works as a great chaotic threat. <laughs> I, I really enjoy seeing him. But also we have Mowgli. And I can never remember her fucking name. And I feel awful. I feel awful every time I need to talk about her. Because she does a great job. The actress is incredible. Like she does a really, really good job. And I just cannot remember the character's name. It just keeps floating out of my head. I guess it just doesn't get mentioned an awful lot. But we had the two of them alive which was instantly suspicious to me. Like, I mean, the whole thing was, yo, if I wanted you dead, I could have done it already. So there was that. But it definitely was giving me the bad sus vibes of, you're going to be used for something. That's why you're needed alive. And it could just well be alive until the correct moment that we need you to be alive for. So instantly sus on that. Then we get into the scene with Elliot confessing everything to Krista having the breakdown first uh, where he just transformed back into Mr. Robot which you know it was a very like Christian Slater episode like he was filling in the Elliot role for most of this episode but I loved how the show again put you in Elliot's shoes as he's breaking down dealing with everything that was just happening and then the eventual you know it's very kind of abstract but it serves the purpose of again like I say putting you in his shoes like how it feels to be losing yourself, dealing with the guilt of everything and how you fucked up or feel like you fucked up that badly. And then you're just losing yourself to a different persona and personality completely. And I think the show does a really good job of visualizing that. And like here we had him falling into a literal shadow as the rooms just sort of got darker and darker as uh, he was losing himself. Really nicely done. But yeah, then we just had Mr. Robot just pissed just absolutely pissed off about how he's been manipulated he's just finally realized and cottoned onto this that he was been manipulated and he is just another pawn in the one percent of the one percent's game and he's mad that his revolution didn't work the way he wanted it to interesting to see where he's gonna go like where his head's gonna be at going forward if him and elliot are gonna realign in some way to actually take down the actual problem being you know white rose and others like white rose i mean we'll get to price in a minute but price seems to have firmly been slapped in the face so <laughs> we'll see about where he falls into things but then we obviously had krista dealing with this admission of guilt like can she report him can she not i mean she's still kind of like is he telling the truth or is he just crazy i don't know but she seems pretty convinced that it was the truth and that he might be involved and she doesn't know what to do with that information if she decides to report that dom 
could come down on Elliot harder. Certain other people could protect Elliot. You know, FBI corrupt man who's got some shit going on as well, which we'll get to. Um, there's lots of... I can see all the different seeds that are being planted for potential futures, but as I've learned with this show, sometimes they like to throw that stuff in and it never really comes about in the way you would expect it to, or it's just there to keep you guessing and it doesn't necessarily come to anything because something else will happen which will kind of override all of that but i do like that the show keeps adding these little these little seeds in like i say like you can kind of maybe see where they might go with it and then if they do something completely surprising the surprise works even more especially when they weave it in in a way where you don't expect them to then we got to the fbi dealing with tyrell at first i was like has he not gone to with the instructions because it feels like he may have half done the instructions and now he's like i'm gonna do my own thing i'm going out here do my own thing deal with it that's what it kind of felt like and i feel like the show was kind of making me think that by design like they wanted me not to be sure whether or not he was following the plans or not and i got all i <laughs> i don't mind admitting i got all kind of confused because the corrupt fbi guy seemed like he wanted to nail down tyrell but obviously he's just keeping up appearances because, you know, he has to still look like he's doing his job. But obviously he's in on that plan. And we saw that sort of come out in a later scene. But I was like, wait, what's happening here? <laughs> like, wait, is, did, was this meant to happen? Was this all part of the plan? And, you know, as I say, I think it's purposefully throwing the audience through some hoops just to keep you guessing a little bit. And until it all got revealed. Dom, though, is the main, the main focus of all that is that Dom is not buying it. That's the main thing. <laughs> Dom is not buying what is being put down in front of her. And it's getting to the point, like I've said this previous episode, it's getting to the point of Danger Zone where she's just painting a target on her back where she's going to have to be dealt with by White Rose, by the guy who's corrupted in the FBI. S someone's going to want to get her removed at some point. And especially by the end of this episode, we're looking at, I know what's going on. I know what's going on here. <laughs> And yet, no one seems to give a shit. It's not looking great for Dom. She's, like I say, the smartest person there. Pure, like, the most justice-focused person. Like, just trying to do the right thing. Trying to solve the crime like a good FBI agent. And is seeing between the lines. And, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's, like, obviously I want Dom to succeed. Uh, I root for Dom. Um, but based on everything that's happened. No one I've rooted for has really come up on top so far. So that makes me nervous. <laughs> Angela. Let's talk about Angela for a second, shall we? Boy, howdy. <laughs> Angela's off a, off a deep end somewhere. <laughs> like I was saying earlier, she's clearly being manipulated into a certain frame of mind so they can get her to do what they want. And somehow they've latched onto this idea, hey, if we convince her, that everything's going to be okay. Like, all the people who are dead won't be dead. Hey, we got her. And, like, how the fuck have they convinced her that everyone who dies will be fine? I don't know what they've said said or done to her to make her think that. What White Rose has shown her to manipulate that thought. Um, again, there's this bigger mystery still looming over this secret plant and now being moved into the Congo out of the peeping eyes of the world so i have no idea i like i said i keep saying it and i'm sure it's like driving people to nauseam who know what, what's coming and where where the show's going but it feels <laughs> it feels like we're going to some weird places which i'm fine with i'm fine with but i'm like what is it what is it <laughs> i just want to know i just want to know what it is but yeah i don't know i do not know what's going to happen to angela no idea She's, I mean, she's got Darlene there looking after her, I guess. But again, performance-wise, she's selling it. She's doing a good job. Tyrell. Tyrell. I like I said in the reaction, it's mad that this guy who is clearly unhinged, an antagonist, for sure an antagonist in this whole thing, and yet the show keeps doing things where I feel bad for him. <laughs> he keeps making me feel like, Oh god, this guy, like, he's... Sometimes he has this thing of being just, like, a lost puppy, <laughs> right? And you're just, like, people are just pushing him to and fro, and he gets hooked in on an idea, and he's like, yeah, this is what I need to do. This is where I'm supposed to be. 
and then it just gets manipulated around he gets pushed around this episode had a lot of themes about a lot of our central characters being manipulated by higher powers uh the white rose specifically you know there was a lot of like talking about that like how all of our main characters have been manipulated to do certain things for someone else when they thought they were doing it for themselves that's what a lot of this episode was about and here we had tyrell having his revelation that they used me my you know my wife was murdered and now my son's life is being held over me and that's my lot that's my lot in life right now and i can't help but feel really bad for him, <laughs> him even though he's not good he's not good people <laughs> But like I've said previously, like now that he has that information, I fully expect he will be doing his own thing. He will be carving his own path. Again, talking about themes of the episode, it definitely feels like that's what this episode's leaning into, is that it's all these characters realizing how they've been manipulated and what are they going to do with that going forward? Like, are they going to conform to what White Rose is trying to do? Or are they going to team up <laughs> in some way? Are they all going to go be gunning for White Rose? Because White Rose is making a lot of enemies at this point. A lot of enemies. <laughs> but yeah, Pyrell, in, like I say, a very interesting performance. Always captivating, but I, I have no idea what he's going to do next. I assume save his son is his top priority. Get, get his son so he doesn't have that being held over him. Then we had the scene between Price and White Rose, which basically just laid it out all on the table and said, yo, I'm coming for you. Look, I'm helping Ecorp out because I need to help them out because it helps me out by making Ecoin like the, the currency and all that shit. But, you know, I've done everything. I've got everything I want. I've sorted Ecorp out. It's just you, Price. I'm dealing with you. I need to slap you on the wrist because you're being a little shithead and I'm being petty about it. But at the same time, it's my power play. Time to reveal who's the real boss here, basically, is what's go <laughs> it's what that scene was all about. So, you know, glad we got that out in the air, I guess. <laughs> got, got that sorted. And again, and speaking of themes of people being manipulated, even Price. Even Price was being manipulated the whole time. So another enemy for White Rose. <laughs> another enemy. Just stacking them all up. Are we going to have like an Avengers team up of everyone who's been fucked over by, <laughs> by White Rose and just go at go at them? <laughs> Is that what's going to happen? <laughs> but no, the scene was very tense. It was, you know, it's the most kind of out of control we've seen Bryce as he could see the writing on the wall coming at him. And he just wanted to know why. Why are you doing this? Why me? And why are you treating me like this? And it's like, because you thought you were hot shit and I needed to tell you, no, you're not. That's it. There's something so just... It makes White Rose feel like the, this whole conversation about who is the most powerful person in the room. But that whole scene just clearly establishes how powerful White Rose is in all of this. Not only are they manipulating the people at the bottom of the food chain, food ladder, chain, food chain, food ladder, you know what I'm saying. But also people at the very top. Even when they didn't think that they were being manipulated, they were. Um... So yeah, very clear lines being drawn there. Speaking of battle lines and redrawing lines on maps, that very much got cleared up today. <laughs> but yeah, again, I expect Bryce to retaliate somehow. Oh yeah, I also kind of skipped over the fact that we had Tyrell. Basically, we had confirmation that Tyrell did follow the plans that he was given by the Dark Army. Um, he just wasn't expecting family death. So yeah, he knew what was going on. He did what he was told to do. And it was all part of the plan all part of the plan and then this whole thing that i started to suspect came together with the reveal that to call out um our two poor <laughs> poor runaways uh <laughs> that they were the ones who, who were involved and they are the people who you really wanted to go after uh so they could stage a suicide and get the fbi off the trail do all of that i kind of called it kind of saw what was happening um but the show did a good job of like if you're not really paying attention to the little details you probably would miss it but i did notice that <laughs> that the time of day was completely different between when the fbi were breaching and when they were having the conversation with the uh the guy from the dark army 
Um, at first, I was kind of thinking, are they at a different location? But then it kind of became obvious that no, it's just these things are happening at different times. And it's just a you know, just a dramatic way of the reveal of um, what what happened. So yeah, it was good. It was it's good dramatic twist. It feels like White Rose is put an, a, a neat little bow around everything. But like I say, there are spanners in the work. You've got Mr. Robot Elliot. Um, you've got Dom, who's clearly not satisfied with what's happened here. Where's that all going to go? And we've got Angela and Tyrell, like all these people who have just been used, who know the truth. They are loose ends, technically. They are all loose ends to White Rose's um, plans, but they've been put into a position where no one's going to believe them. I guess that's where the story goes from here. They're, they're going to be all individually, all together, trying to find a way to get back a white rose or try and ensure their revolution was happens the way it was meant to happen and poor elliot <laughs> poor elliot just needs to find some peace man <laughs> he just needs some peace everything he's done is just blown up in his face and he's just like oh well <laughs> poor guy this poor guy he's trying his best he's trying his best but all in all this episode i mean i thought like we were just gonna have these those two episodes as a two part, but really it's kind of a we kind of had like a three part situation here where we had a beginning, middle, and end, and uh, like each episode sort of folded into one another and paid each other off, as it were. Like it was a, it was a good little it was basically a movie. You could watch you could watch these three episodes together, and it would essentially be a be a movie, and you'd get to the end point where it'd be like. Wait, wait for the next one sequel bait basically like what happens next <laughs> um but i'm excited i'm excited to see where we go because this definitely feels like rather than having like the one episode which changed the gears dramatically into a different direction for the show it felt like that gear change was sort of spread across these last three episodes and we really got to just bathe in it as it was happening <laughs> which was just delightful and yeah i'm excited i'm excited to see where we go next what the characters are going to do because everything is dramatically different to what it was before these three episodes now um so yeah i'm excited i'm excited to see where we go thank you for watching this one guys if you enjoyed it please press the thumbs up it helps know you liked it, it helps it get seen by more people leave a comment down below let me know what you think of this episode and subscribe because that's the best way to let me know you like this content you want to see more and you want to be notified all of that good stuff but for now thank you for watching i will catch you on the next one